afternoon guys my name is Marisol and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be talking about breast metastitis and 10 things you can do to help recover from it now I want to start this video off by saying I am in no way an expert I just recently experienced this and these are the things or some of the things I did to recover and it did take a full seven days for me to recover but anything that I mentioned here please please feel free to do your own research and make sure you feel comfortable with any remedies that you use what breast metastitis basically is is an inflammation in the breast due to bacteria that has entered through a cracked nipple it actually never occurred to me that I would even get this I originally thought I was either badly dehydrated or by some way I thought I either caught the flu or actually the coronavirus and the only reason I thought I had the flu or the coronavirus was because the day before my husband actually went out to do grocery shopping and that would be the only way I could catch something because I was in quarantine I didn't leave my house so out of fear my husband and I kind of thought I had the coronavirus, but that was quickly eliminated because I only had a fever. I didn't have any of the other symptoms like a cough, shortness of breath, diarrhea, or loss of taste and smell. I didn't have any of those other symptoms, so um, that was quickly eliminated. Then I really thought I had the flu because I had bad body aches. My joints were aching, I couldn't stand up, I couldn't hold my head up, I could barely keep my eyes open. I just felt extreme exhaustion and pain. And while I was feeding my baby, my husband actually noticed a red spot on my breast. And the red spot was kinda like a bruise, not exactly black and blue, but it looked like an abnormal red spot. It was red, it was hot, and um, it was just really pronounced. And I was feeling so sick in the morning, my head was just pounding, that when he mentioned it to me, I kind of just brushed him off like, I just probably slept wrong, it's gonna go away, it's gonna go away, I need to get some rest. I just sleep the entire day. I cannot function, I cannot stand up. I'm just in extreme pain, and my head is just aching, and I'm like, burning up but I also have chills so I sleep all of Saturday and we can't figure out what's wrong with me I really really think I just have the flu so what I found while I was doing research was that the symptoms of breast metastitis are headache redness inflammation fever pain tenderness swelling chills body aches and possible itching around the breast so I basically had all these symptoms. The next day when I try to pump, I realized that I have a tear in my nipple. It's pretty large and it's actually bleeding while I'm pumping. I knew right there and then I definitely had breast metastitis. I had flu symptoms, had a crack in my nipple, and I had extreme breast engorgement that just would not go down. I also reached out to a friend who's a maternal fetal medicine nurse practitioner and she also gave me some tips. So the following tips are a combination of my own research and tips from a friend. Tip number one, you have to make sure you rest and sleep. This is so important in order for your body to fight off the infection. Tip number two, make sure you're nursing and pumping as much as possible and make sure when you nurse you're getting a good latch from the baby. It is safe to nurse your baby while you have breast metastitis and even if you have a small tear and a little bit of bleeding it's still okay to nurse your baby you don't have to be afraid. After nursing the baby you want to make sure to pump immediately after. You want to make sure that you're doing everything you possibly can to empty out the breast and it is gonna hurt it is gonna be painful especially if you have a tear like I did but if you nurse and pump through the pain it's gonna help you in the long run your breast is just full and even when the baby is drinking he's just not emptying out the breast the third thing you want to do is use hot and cold compress so this is gonna go hand in hand with the nursing and the pumping so you want to use um, hot compress 15 minutes before you nurse or pump 
I sometimes left the hot compress on while I was pumping. What it does is it basically helps the blood flow in your breast to help the milk exit the breast. If you don't have a hot compress like I didn't, what I did is I wet a small towel and I basically steamed it. I used a pot of water, I put a drainer over it, I put the towel in, I put a lid over it and I made sure it got hot enough. If you go on Amazon, they have this gel-like pack where you can microwave or refrigerate and it it's like a perfect circle that can fit your breasts. So if you guys are really looking for something like that, you can get that on Amazon. I literally just used a towel for heat and an ice pack for cooling. The fourth thing you want to do is drink a lot of water. Water is always the answer in my opinion. So you should be drinking a lot of water anyways if you're nursing. But if you get sick, you want to make sure that you're hydrating as much as possible. The fifth option is using a pain reliever like Tylenol or Advil. They are safe to use while nursing and they are also anti-inflammatory. They can help the swelling go down. The sixth thing you can do, which is what my friend suggested, is you can use raw potato slices. I cut up raw potato slices and I put them in my bra. She also suggested to put the potato slices in uh, socks that you wear while you sleep. So what the potato does is it basically draws out the infection and it avoids um, the bacteria from infecting the area any further. I know it sounds weird and crazy, but you guys can look it up. You guys can do your own research. It is a real thing. The seventh thing I found was another food product. So you can actually also use cabbage. You can make sure it's nice and cold in the refrigerator and put a few slices in your bra, again, to help with the swelling and the inflammation to go down. I didn't use cabbage because I didn't have cabbage in my house, but I also found that it's possible for cabbage to lessen your milk supply. I'm not sure how true or false that is, but I've seen a lot of people suggest this, even family members. So if you'd like, that is a suggestion and you can try it. The eighth thing you can do is actually take something called lecithin. So you can find lecithin in your pharmacy. If you have a lot of backed up milk and engorgement, and it's possible that it's a lot of fatty milk, lecithin is gonna help thin it out. So again, it can exit the breast and you can empty it out and relieve the engorgement. The ninth thing you wanna do is go braless. You just want to let them be free, <laughs> okay? You wanna make sure that there are no restrictions um, on the breast or in the area. Again, you wanna make sure that um, there's room for the blood to flow so that the milk can flow out of you. And this is why I suggested in one of my other videos that a really good gift for new parents or any parents to be are bed sheets because you're gonna wake up in a pool of breast milk more than once. And my 10th and last tip is to use nipple butter. Now, I have been using my nipple butter religiously after recovering because I feel like I really neglected my body and my skin. I got too comfortable and I got lazy and when you're nursing, your nipples are prone to become raw and the area is actually prone to become very, very dry. And if you keep it moisturized, I believe you can avoid the cracking. And if you can avoid cracking, you can avoid uh, bacteria entering the breast. So I've been using the nipple butter like crazy. You can also use coconut oil, uh, whatever's gonna help hydrate and obviously be safe for the baby to continue nursing. Those are my 10 tips for recovering from breast metastitis. I hope it was helpful. I hope that you guys never have to experience this. It is very painful, it's awful to go through. But if you do, these are 10 tips that you can refer to. Again, I'm not here claiming to be any expert. This is just what I experienced and these are some of the things that I use to get better. And they worked. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please make sure to subscribe for notifications on any upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!